Well, that's a different view. <laughs> Hello, creative friends. I hope you're well. I uh, was gone for a while, but now I'm back. This is just a uh, temporary studio. This is my, let's call it my winter studio. Um, because they were announcing a, kind of like a difficult winter here in Montreal, I decided to have something at home that I, a place where I could work from um, instead of trying to battle parking on the street or shoveling or all that stuff that comes with yucky winter weather. So today I have to record parts of this video here because what I had prepared for you kind of failed. And <laughs> I was talking to uh, my good friend, let's call him, let's call him Cecil for all intents and purposes. Um, Cecil is a very bright person and uh, I was talking to him about how upset I was that the technique I wanted to show you kind of failed, but it was working on another project that I had done for Patreon. And so we kind of figured out together what had happened. And what I propose to you is, um, if you don't mind, I will share my findings with you and I will put in a um, kind of like uh, in the background here, whoop, whoop, the video of the process of the painting and the drawing and whatnot because uh, there's uh, I mean it's it's still watchable and um, in the main screen here I'm going to show you how I'm going to fix uh, what happened so basically here's what I intended to do so um, I wonder if this is going to show up. Now, these two parts here are supposed to be all glittery. <laughs> and I'm sure if you've seen the title or the thumbnail, um, that was a funny bit. It wasn't quite funny when I figured it out, when I found out. Um, I had put these two pieces in an envelope to bring home uh, while I edit the video. <laughs> and I didn't touch it. Like, nothing is rubbing off on my finger. So that's not the problem. The problem is not because I've put it in an envelope and it rubbed off. Um, my guess is that whatever glitter was on there or whatever particle is in a metallic color has sunk into the paper. And I think it has to do with the fact that this is hot pre uh, cold pressed and I was using a lot of water. Now, the reason why I was doing this is because I uh, fell upon this technique that I did on this paper here, which, well, the lighting is not the best. Okay, so here is the glittery part. Of course, you're not going to be able to see it for sure. Hold on. <laughs> of course. <laughs> this has to fail too. Oh boy, it's an adventure. Okay, hang on, hang on. See, I've got my big studio lights here. There it is. You see the glitter? Okay, so here we go. See this? So this is all over. You see it at the bottom right here and all over here, right? So this is what was supposed to happen on these two pieces. But this was done on hot press paper. And it's very different. And the reason why I'm using hot press paper is because I, on these uh, types of illustrations, there's a lot of um, drawing happening, there's a lot of precision coloring and whatnot, and because the surface is quite smooth, it's much easier to do. On cold pressed paper, although this one is pretty smooth, this is the B paper, it's still lumpy bumpy, and as you can see here on the tree, you can see that there's quite a bit of texture as opposed to if we zoom in on here, this is quite smooth, right? So that's the big difference. Uh, and by the way, this was done for Patreon, so if you're interested in watching the whole process of this, um, it was for the $5 uh, monthly rewards for the month of November. And I'm doing a second part in December. Little shameless Patreon plug. <laughs> so 
what I went ahead to before I started doing it on, or before I even did this uh, illustration on black, because I thought it'd be cool if this glittery snow would show up also on black. How awesome would that be? How stunning <laughs> this would be. It's not stunning at all. <laughs> <laughs> but before I did that, I did a swatch because there's a lot of you that have asked me um, for substitutes for Kramer Pigments paint because um, it's difficult to have them shipped to different countries. And so I did the same thing for the silver paint or white gold or sterling, whatever it's called in different companies. So in here I've got... Hold on. Uh, so the first one is the White Gold by Koretake uh, in the Gansai Tambi set. I think it's called um, Starry Night. Then the second one is the Sterling Kramer uh, pigment that I used for the illustration. Then we have the Paul Rubens uh, Pearl Silver White. And then the Fine Tech Kaliho. These are the four white gold slash silver slash sterling that I have at my disposal. So I went ahead and swatched that for you. So on the left hand side, there's the mass stone, which is highest pigmentation, I guess. And the one on the right is uh, a mix of 50% pigment, 50% water which is what I have used to create the fake snow. That was the whole technique. That's it. It's very simple. You just mix this paint with as much water. You mix it up properly, really well, so that the glitter is distributed prop uh, evenly and it just turns into this beautiful glitter surface. <laughs> but it didn't work on cold press. So. What I'm going to do is add an, an, another layer to this in the hopes that it's going to fix it because here's my thought process. If it worked on hot press paper, uh, hopefully the first coat that I have, the first layer here will act as somewhat of a barrier and the second layer will stay on the surface more. That's what I'm hoping for. So here we go. Okay, I've taped, I've retaped the um, the work on my table here. I'm using a flat brush for this. You can use any flat brush that you have. This one is the half inch uh, <laughs> silver by Black Velvet. My apologies. This is the best that you can get for now. I'm gonna add more pigment this time. But I, the thing is, I don't want to make the snow silver. I want it just glittery. So I'm going to add, I'm going to take up a pet and add a little bit of water. Hoping like this is showing on camera. I also noticed when I was doing the bigger piece that uh, you need to mix it very, very well. The mica has to be distributed evenly. I'm going to add a little bit of more pigment. See, I'm very cautious now because... I was burnt once. <laughs> of course, it wouldn't be one of my videos if there was, if there weren't at least one or two mistakes in it. Okay, let's go. I'm just gonna brush that on and I'm gonna load. I kind of have a feeling that I had green on my brush. Um, because I see a slight green tint, which is fine. It's all good. There's a few fluffies. It's okay. Yeah, there's a definite green tint to it. We're going to have green snow. <laughs> all right. Oh, this is looking very silvery, though. Uh, wet, of course, it shows up more on black paper. I remember the glee. 
I felt when when I discovered this little trick when I did the first illustration. Somehow I'm not getting the same excitement right now. <laughs> oh boy. All right. So I'm gonna let this dry, but I find that the house is, this is supposed to be like a icy blue. I'll put all the information in the description as well as in a pinned comment, but it just doesn't look blue. So I might go over it with another color just so that it pops a little bit more. Oh, oh, I see the glitter. Do you see it? Oh my gosh, now I'm happy. I don't think it's fully dry but I can clearly see that is the effect that I was looking for. There we go. Now we're in business. I'm gonna recolor these two sides of the house. So because I have um, a base here, I'm hoping that this pencil will stick to it. I believe this was Prismacolor, which is a wax-based and this is oil-based but it seems to be doing okay so we're mixing it up <laughs> and i i don't want to apply it evenly i just want to have give the hint of um some sort of a, a a shabby looking house not something that's too perfect i may even add something dark up here but i'm liking this and then i'm going to use the malachite I'm liking these two colors with the greens that I use for the trees. Cute. So I'm gonna darken that area, bringing back, <laughs> bringing black, bringing back the black that I have covered up. I have to be careful because it's kind of scraping all the other layers of pencil that I've already put down. I do have this section here of black that I want to cover up. All right. And then maybe a little bit more of a bright green. Let's see here. Just to add contrast. I do have some white here and um, the video that I had hopefully running in the background <laughs> because I haven't edited it yet. Uh, we'll show how I did that, but um, I think this is a mix of gouache and white gel pen. The colors are much lighter in real life than what you're seeing right now. But um, I don't want to tamper with that. Um, and I don't want to add anything to this. I was thinking of adding just a tiny hue of pink here on the horizon line. I'm going to start very lightly and see, see if that's going to if it's going to please me. That wasn't the best solution. I wonder if the eraser will remove some of that. Yep, it works. Okay, let me work at this. I used the Paints Gray 60% just to add a little bit of shading to the house. That's all it needed. And then a bit here on the horizon line and then right underneath the tree. I added a bit of um, pink metallic gel pen. This is the hybrid dual metallic by Pantel. Pink and metallic pink. And I just added a little bit. So I'm gonna remove the tape. We can clearly see now the glitter, the, fa the snow, the fake snow. Well, it is fake. 
<laughs> but the snow or the glitter is definitely there. It's not, I didn't do an even application, but um, it totally worked. So two coats, maybe I added too much water the first time, I don't know. But I think it also has a lot to do with the paper, the kind of paper that I'm using, which is fine. I mean, two layers, it's not that bad. Um, here, <laughs> there was a, an accumulation around the tape here on the border. That's all right. But I love how the house turned out. I love these two colors with the green together. I think it's it looks really cute. So these two little paintings were fun to do. I wish I didn't have to correct, but hey, that's life. Could have been worse. You could have gotten this. <laughs> I joke, but this is going to be the next video, but don't worry. <laughs> it's going to get better. <laughs> this was done as a joke, by the way. So <laughs> stay tuned for next week. I'm going to have something super quick, super easy for your holiday prep. In the meantime, please stay safe. So safe. Please stay safe, <laughs> healthy and creative. And I will see you soon.